I'm the worst football manager ever and welcome back to the next episode of the Gosport Gamble and we're into episode five now and this is you're going to be seeing today the second game of the season um I took over Gospel at the end of last season. We've gone into our new season and we won our first game of the season, as you saw in the last video. If you haven't seen it already, then go and watch it now. Press pause on this one, open up a little new tab and watch the last video. Um, in, in fact, you can catch up on all of the Gospel Gamble series by going onto my playlist and, to, and my channel. And you can watch the whole from from episode one all the way through to episode five so far um, and in fact you can subscribe do feel like subscribing um, click that red button and join me for the journey of this as well as hitting the like button if you're enjoying this content as well It'd be great to have you part of part of this and leaving comments and all this sort of stuff as well but last round time round last game out we won one nil Justin Bennett my top scorer from last season scored and, uh, and so we are 10th in the league after just one game obviously so it doesn't really count much at the moment but here we are ready for our second game against Wealdstone who are about 16th in the league no, oh my goodness, they're not their 11th, I remember now. They are 11th and they obviously had a pretty similar game to us in their last time out. Let's just go back and see what they, what, how they did. Yeah, they won 1-0 as well. 63rd minute, Calcutt scored against Luz and, um, and they won 1-0. Now we are favourites to win this game and so we are going for the 4-4-4-3-3 formation. Let me show you this here. Um, Pretty similar to what we had in the last game. In fact, I don't think I've made one change in the team from the last time round. Yes, I have. I've made one change. Um, we have got um, a few players here. Robert Carroll, you wouldn't recognise because he wasn't on the bench last time because he's only 16 years old, um, worth 325 quid. So he's not worth much. He's not really a particularly great goalkeeper. So why the heck have I got him as a sub? Well, the reason being is because my first... Um, goalkeeper Nathan Ashmore got injured in the last game if you watched that and he has now gone for a couple of weeks I think and so Strong Beardy um, there he is there look at that beard Strong Beardy is in as the number one keeper now for the meantime he's also my under 18's goalkeeping coach and actually he's not a bad goalkeeper at all and as you can see his, his attributes are actually going up already since being with us which is great news so 36 years old he's not that old for a goalkeeper I think in a, in a way um but I think he'll be okay. I think he'll be an okay substitute keeper for us in this. I feel like, I don't feel like, oh my goodness, what's going to happen? Um, I think we should be okay. Now, one of the things, going back to what my tactics are, 4-3-3. Three, three, um, problem I've got is that this my one of my key midfielders, who is um, down here, Mike Carter, is injured. And if you can see here as I hover over the injured panel... Currently undergoing treatment for a strained knee ligaments, um, expected to be out for four to six weeks. Now, that means I I'm pretty short of decent midfielders. As you can see here, my sort of players who aren't on the bench are all defenders, um, so I really could do as a more midfield. And so the only other midfielder, center, central midfielder player I've got is um, Perry Ryan here, who isn't that great. Um, he played okay in the last game to give him a bit of credit, but he's he's not up to much to be honest. Um, Coin Capone, Coin, what do you think? Do you think he's up to much? No, he's not. Well, well, I know that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should just get some more more midfielders. Yeah, but I haven't got any money. Get another job. I, how can I get another job? I'm I'm full time with managing Gosport. Capone, Coin work nights how oh my good you are so i'm supposed to sleep how can i give my best to gospel if i don't sleep and i'm working like a night shift doing some other job why don't you get a job pine forget it forget it pine cone i'm not talking i'm not talking to you today i'm not talking to him today so anyway perry uh, perry ryan my central defender central midfielder taking the place um of mike carter at the moment now the issue i've got because i have no other central midfielders i've got a backup plan in place which is this 4-4-2 formation um and i've got kyle spence and joe anyansar who can both play on the wings so what i'll do is i'll bring them on i have to take off one of my strikers and we'll fiddle that around somehow we'll make it work basically we'll make it work don't worry don't worry so i will submit this team we're going for the overlap today and also we're going into control rather than standard they're the only real changes we're making um, but two games in a win on the trot would be great we are away from home this time so i'm not sure whether that will impact it or not we'll, we'll just have to wait and see the analysis is saying that both teams are evenly matched and i think it will be a draw um 
let's just see how it goes, shall we? Um, they are going for a four-four-two kind of a diamond thing. Looks like here, really, um, which is fair enough. Um, yeah, okay, that seems fine to me. I can I can cope with that. Closing them down, closing them down. Now they did mention Bradley Williams to me in the. Um, last in my my coat my scout because he runs a lot so they said don't mark him because he runs so much now i'm wondering i might click on his name let's see how he played so he did play a 7.1 last time round um i'm interested to know whether he did he set the goal up or let's have a quick check of this um it's just worthwhile i think having a little look as to see what really happened in that game one nil they won um Bradley Williams 7.1 no he didn't set up the goal or anything he just ran a lot Calcutt got man of the match with a goal Hayes Reese Hayes set him up okay so no I think I'll leave Bradley Williams from from where you know I don't need to I don't need to close him down we'll just leave it as it is um, so we're just closing down the two strikers we're not marking them at the moment Jamie Spencer I think is a good striker Cal Calcutt got the goal last time out but and Reese Hayes set them up, so let's close down Reese Hayes as well, um, and we'll go with that. Try and encourage the team passionately. Say, um, show me what you can do. Come on, boys. Um, then, not much of a reaction there. Let's encourage the defenders and the strikers. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see if that works. Okay, boys, here we go again. Game two, Gosport Gamble. Come on, I'd love a good win here. I could really do with a nice victory that will just, you know, the first game's important, obviously, but when you get, you know, you want to build up together a bit of a kind of a winning streak here. Um, just to remind you, my aim is to get into the playoffs this season, and if I can get into the playoffs, obviously I then want to win the playoffs and get promoted. Um, I'm very short on money. Money is a real, real... Um, well, as in I don't have any, so that's a big issue, and I'm spending more than I've got, so uh, that's never a good thing. But here we are, 12 minutes in, and there's, this looks like it's going to be a highlight to us. It's Kelly Uga with a throw. Back to Kelly Uga, back to Ben Harding. Harding dribbling the centre of the pitch here, getting a lot of boos from the crowd. Robinson, chips of water, right! Oh! Keeper gets across to that one. Well done. He held, saves that. Here's Perry Ryan with the corner. Into White. Oh, he couldn't get his head onto that. But Harding here, edge of the box, pumps it back to Wheeler. Elliot Wheeler crosses it in, but that was the end, and it came to nothing. Okay, so they are they Willstone are having a lot more of the possession than us at the moment. Here's De Gracia with a free kick. Oh, De Gracia back in. You got oh, Harding Robinson. Collins can Collins do anything with it oh just his second game for us today because Greenidge in defence Ryan we we see this this looks promising these attacks is Bennett White White yes Jamie White oh Jamie White why Jamie he's a Jamie White he's white Jamie what a ledge what a ledge 1-0 Great, great start. 17 minutes in. We had loads of the play there in that build-up. Built it up for over a long time. Jamie White with his left foot. Nice first touch. The keeper was terrible in that. But it all counts. Jamie Bennett, lovely setup from him. This is good, good stuff from my strikers. I'm enjoying having three at the front. It just feels like when we're when we're pushing forward, there's plenty of stuff going on around the box. Plenty of players in there. It's, it's, this tactic, 4-3-3, seems to be working for me. Don't say anything. I shouldn't say anything. The minute you say it's working for me, that's now I'm going to lose 5-1. So thanks, me. Thanks a lot. Thanks for that. Okay, uh, everyone's looking pretty normal. Here's Collins. Is back to Wheeler. Wheeler on the far right now into Collins. What's he going to do with this one? Perry Ryan passing it around. Oh, and Wheeler, poor pass, lost it. And he now finds himself out of position. So had to get back, but he is back in time, which is good. Number eleven here in the bottom right seems to be strolling around lots. He could be dangerous if we're not careful. But meanwhile, Davis sprays it out wide to Leesley. Can there be a challenge? Go on, close him down, boys. Oh, all over on the right. Bevan's on his own. Got all the space in the world. Plays it back to Davis. Poor pass from them, but luckily Davis got to it. Williams into ball. Forward to Calcutt. Oh, Calcutt. Spencer. Oh. What did I say about that number 11? What did I say about that number 11? 
There he is, he scores. Oh man. That is not good, eh? He was he was walking he was wandering around quite a lot. Look, here he is here. He's actually been marked reasonably tightly here, but gets away from his man just at the right time. And who was that man? Who was that man he got away from? I need to remember now. I need to just pause this. I think it was De Gracia. Might have been De Gracia. But we're going to passionately say to him, encourage. We're just going to encourage him, even though we'll... I think it probably was De Gracia. I think he's playing on the right. Greenidge or De Gracia? But Greenidge is 58%. Ooh, ouch. Actually, I'll tell you what, I won't take him off just yet. We're coming to half-time, so... Um, he looks tired, as does Andy Robinson. Just generally exhausted, aren't they? Okay, right, well... 61, if you're tired, Greenidge, then I should probably take you off straight away. Andy Robinson, as well, in honesty, should probably do the same with you. However, I've got this whole midfielder issue, so that is not good. Dan Ball, he's going to be coming on for his debut. Um, encourage the team. We can still win this. We really can. We can still come out of this match with a win tonight. What are they going to react to that? A few greens. A couple of greens. Two. Perry Ryan and Justin Bennett. Green. Come on. <laughs> come on, greens. <laughs> They're the boys I'm going to look to. They are playing a better game than I am. Far more possession than me. Far more possession. I'm wondering whether I should try and retain possession a bit more. And they are on the attack. Straight away from the court. From the centrepiece here has Hayes edge of the box what's he going to do with it praise out wide to Bevan close him down they're not closing Be Bevan constantly on the on the right there is getting tons of the ball and it, I'm not happy about it let's get onto the opposition instructions yeah Bevan's here right we're going to clo close that fella down Leasley, let's close him down I mean, he hasn't had as much of the ball but close him down boys show on to his weaker foot both of them yeah they he is getting far too much of the ball on this side okay um not happy about that right andy robinson i wait for a little bit longer to before i take him off now he's a captain i kind of need him on the pitch for as long as i can um however once um, I've got this kind of little rule in my head that once a player goes below 60%, then they've got to come off. Uh, have you got any of those things? Have you got any of those like little rules that you have to yourself? Either whether it's a condition thing of like, oh, they're too tired now, or whether more of a, I don't know, if, if a player gets below a six point something, he comes off or, you know, there you go, 59. So he's up 58% now, Andy Robinson. So he is going to come off. Now, as I said, the issue we've got is that we don't have... Um, enough players to continue the 4-3-3 so we're going to change up our tactics um, make the tactical changes um, we're going to a 4-4-2 so I need to just wait there we go um, the, ta the tactic's been made Robinson is going to come off for Joe yeah Joe Anion Sar um, and then what we'll do is we will take off who of the strikers Justin Bennett hasn't been up to much today so we'll take him off I think um, Bennett's going to come off in favour of Jamal Spence um, is it Jamal Spence? Kyle Spence sorry yeah, bring on Kyle Spence as a winger Joe Anionsar on the right um, I think yeah that's what we'll do Okay, <sighs> Carl Spence is a good player, and unfortunately, he um, said to me that he wants more first team team action, which, which I, c I can see why he's a decent player. But just the way that I'm playing the team at the moment, it, that sort of his position doesn't fit. So what I'm looking to do is to maybe train him up to be more of a central player, and if he can go for it, and if he's up for it, then I think he'll be a great, great midfielder for me. Um, but until he sort of is trained in that place, he's not going to be happy because he's not going to. Apart from times like this, where I have to go to the four four two, I don't think he's going to particularly play, get much play. Um, we're going to go into control. Bevans is is now on the uh, throws it into Calcut. Here's Bevans again. Spencer, oh, saved by Beardy. Go on, boy. Strong Beardy there. His beard held him out. Get away from me, it said. There's Hayes with the corner. 
Out, out, out. That's not troubling Beardy. Strong Beardy. Strong, secure, solid. Okay, we... Um, what's our instructions looking like? Normal. Nothing, basically. Nothing. Um, tempo's normal. We're going to go for the overlap. Um, let's just check... I want to check the opposition instructions as well again. You see, I'm, I'm being quite like, I think maybe a bit pedantic. You know what I mean? Look at all these little details at the moment. Um, that's fine. Yeah, we're still doing the right thing. They're still, they've still got the same setup. They haven't changed anything. So four four two. Let's see. Let's see if this makes a difference. Is Bevans Williams forward to Hayes? They've had two highlights now from from since we've changed tactics. Oh, great save, Collins. Collects the ball. His onions are. Can we stream it forward now? Come on, stream forward. It's not. Oh. The, unfortunately, we've played all of our subs as well, and the players are looking tired. And Charlie Collins is on 59, breaking my rules, but I've got nobody left to, to sub on. So um, it's just going to have to stay as it is. Um, De Gratch is having a bad game. Kelly Ugar's having a bad game. Elliot Wheeler's having a bad game. All my defence, apart from Dan Ball, who's having a standard one, and not playing well today. So it looks like we, if we get a draw, it's probably okay because really we probably should have lost. They've had 11 shots, 11 shots and five on target. Here's Hayes on the attack again. They really are going for it. I'm going to go counter here. Oh, and Spencer hit the ball over. We have got to tighten up. Tighten up here, boys. Come on. If we get a draw out of this, we are we have been lucky, <laughs> lucky, lucky, lucky. Now half of my team are on fifty percent. That's not good. But it's this first bit of the season when you have an evening game in the midweek as well as the Saturday, isn't it? It's tiring for these players. Ah, oh, full time. We've got a draw out of it. It's better than nothing. Um, sympathise. I don't think we should sympathise. Um, uh, where where can I just say we were, we were lucky? Um, oh dear, what do I say here? I'll oh, just say unlucky, boys. It wasn't our night. Dear one all though, that was close. I felt a bit itchy on that one. You know, and you're sort of a bit like, oh, itchy, itchy. Um, and so that brings my second game to a close. Um, would love to hear your thoughts and your, you know, thoughts of how things went. His ball making his debut, there was a keen sense of intrigue about him. And obviously the jury's still out on that one because he 6.4, not great start for him, but never mind. Eastbourne Brown, meanwhile, 1-5-1. So let's take a quick brief look at the league um, and we are in seventh place at the moment uh, with four points. Um, do you know what? This is the highest I think I've ever been in a league. Oh no, it wasn't because I finished sixth. So sixth, seventh, I'm doing all right in my own mind and in my own brain. But anyway, that brings this episode to a close. The next game that we've got and that you'll see, probably see this game tomorrow is Bishop Stortford or I might play a few games and we'll press on with the season a little bit more. And Bishop Stortford are in the in sixth place so again it's a team that are on the same sort of level as i am early days in the season though let's see how we do and uh but until uh next time you can check me out and chat to me on twitter at worst f manager or have a look on twitch where i sometimes stream at uh, worst football manager ever um or make sure you like and subscribe to these videos it's great to have you watching these really appreciate all your comments all your thoughts all your advice um, but until next time i'll see you later